You're, You're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation over here with my man Winky Wright, former junior middleweight champion. What's going on, man? Chilling, man. Chilling. All right. What brings you over here? Let everybody know where you at, man. What brings you over here? I'm in Miami, Florida, and I live in St. Petersburg, Florida. I come yeah. down here to represent for the WBC. Uh huh. Now I gotta ask you about some good fights last. Um, this, matter of fact, this weekend, man. But you've been a former junior middleweight champion, man. What did you think about Jamel Charlo versus Julian Williams? Oh, he did good. He looked real good. He looked real good, didn't yeah. he, man? He looked, he, you know, it was kind of crazy what he said at the end, but you know, uh, yeah, he, yeah, was, he was yeah. in his feelings, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> who, who did you pick going into that fight? Really, I, it was a pick for me. I thought both of them was good. Uh, Charlo strong with the other guy, good boxer. But, you know, the punch of one. Uh-huh. Jamal Charlo, he talking about moving up to middleweight now. He said he want to fight Golovkin. What you think? Well, you know, everybody want to fight him. You know, they want to really test him. You know, they they seen him beat a lot of a lot of people, but we haven't seen him beat anyone with a lot of a lot of talent or someone we think that can beat him. Uh -huh. You know, it's easy to beat up beat up on people who we expect you to beat on. To become great, you got to beat them fighters that we think you're gonna lose against. Uh huh. And, and like you said, he hasn't really fought them type of fighters yet. So that would be really interesting. I mean, what chances? What, what did you think when he fought Cal Brook? I mean, because a lot of people feel. I'm saying Cal Brook gave him a good fight, but he we, he was too small. You knew he was going to be too small. You know, he, he had a good good boxer, but not enough punch to stop him. So, uh -huh. you know, when, after, after he touched him, touched him, he just waiting his time. So when he hit him with the big punch, he was going to stop him. Uh huh. Did you get to um, watch the heavyweight fight? Um, well, it was a couple heavyweight fights. Um, Joseph Parker versus um, Andy Ruiz. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't what you expected. You know, I it, thought they was going to do did, a little bit did, more. But they did. They showed that they're trying to throw a lot of more punches. But neither one of them wasn't throwing no big shots. Wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't no big bombs. And, you know, you used to seeing some big shots from the heavyweights. Uh -huh. You weren't getting it out of them. It was they a was chess match, right? Moving. Yeah, they was boxing. They was moving. But, you know, I guess the new, the new heavyweights, I guess. <laughs> speaking, well, well, speaking of the new heavyweights, Anthony Joshua, he looked real good knocking out Eric Molina, and he did it quicker, of course, than Deontay Wilder did. Who's the best heavyweight right now? Well, you can't say. You know, you got to put both of them together. You know, I think that's what the fans want to see, the two young guns getting together and giving them, giving the fans what they want to see, a great heavyweight fight. And uh -huh. that right there is going to bring boxing back. When we start putting the best up against the best, then, you know, boxing become what boxing was. That's all UFC doing. They just putting the best against the best. They don't care who win. Yeah. If you win, you think you better than this guy, we're going to put y'all in there next month. But boxing is so much politics where, you know, he ain't paying me enough money or I ain't the A side. and ain't, It's too much politics. You know, people want to see the best fighting the best. And when you give them that, they're going to come. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Who would you say is pound for pound the best fighter in the world right now? You got Ward, Kovalev, Golovkin. I'm, I'm a, Chocolate like Tito, I said, Roman Gonzalez. I like Ward. I'm because Ward, like Ward, fought. You know, he he ain't looking sharp against uh, the last guy, but you know he beat him. He beat him, but uh, you know Ward got dropped. He got up, kept his composure. It was still a close fight. Could have went either way, but I still, for me, I think pound pound under Ward. How would the rematch look? Hey, it's gonna be a great fight. Then I, I know Ward won't be nervous about the power, but 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 um, Kovalov won't be won't be worried about his boxing. Kovalov mm. won't come in much harder, so we're gonna see what see what happens. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.